Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. Ah, as you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable, they are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore, to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than a wait of many years. Well, let's still talk about DL6 first. What is the DL6? Uh, uh, what is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than... It's nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. Yep. Uh, uh, her name was Misty Faye. Faye. Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating the murder at the request of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her for cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DO6 incident. Why would you blackmail over this, Mr. Grillspurt? Mind filling in for me for a second? I need to use the bathroom real quick. Uh, sure. No problem. The DL6 incident was told secret on the pod. Great sir. At least didn't want people to know that they were using a video. They couldn't let people know. One person found out. Why? I, I told him. You told White? All for me, Richard. It's an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked. Please for more far and wide. They began looking for the water who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blocked. Let's see. White controls the law of the country as he sees fit. Yeah, you still wish to challenge him. A close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She follows every move for years. She may have reported something of what she found. Okay, well... Funny. Looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Gro Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Alright, well, first, let's take a look here. All the cases the case the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Alright, what do you want to look at first? Uh, AI, uh, JS, or TZ? TZ. Alright. T U I know W White. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Alright, well let's still take it. Blah blah. Alright. Alright, now now what do you want to look at? Uh do AI. Alright, well let's take a look at some AI art. <laughs> we'll see if there's a record that catches my eye. Uh, a B F. Missy Faye, that's me and Maya's mother. Should I take a look? Read it or leave it be? Read it, read it. Um, I think Bonnie is still in the bathroom, so I'll be here. I have tarnished the Faye name, even 
Only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for witches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... The record stops there. So he and New Grossberg. Alright, well, there's only one file we have to take a look at now. Let's see. J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. Skim. <sighs> well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part's here. At the end, yes. Suicide? Yeah. She has a collection of suicide reports. Politicians, policemen. There's written on most of these in pencil. White. This, this, this is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. Why well, draw them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Let's find the most disturbing one. Alright, an article about a politician's suicide. The word white is written in pencil at the top. Alright, well, you would think that Phoenix would do the smart move and actually wait till the trial to bring a newspaper in, but... Nope. Well, aren't you perf... As I choke on my own words. Yeah. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. So yeah, ready for Phoenix to do the dumbest thing possible in this game, and this is not and it's actually not gonna be the only time he's gonna do something like this, but yeah, you gotta show it to him. I'm gonna make this one count. So white, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. Bezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me. How? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. And every one of them was labeled with a single word, white. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. Bribed him, spied on him, blackmailed him. You were spying on him, weren't you? Spying? You snooped on him and found out about the embezzlement. Then, when you revealed it, he was driven to suicide. Mr. Lawyer, I know nothing of this. And even in the highly unlikely event that I did do such a thing, all I would have done is provide information that is not a crime in this country. Yeah, this guy's as cool as a cucumber. Alright, well, let's do it again. Alright, so, it's not spotty. Alright, well, think back to what Mr. Grossberg just said. And one of the reasons why... why yeah. So, yeah, blackmail. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just Sam, either. You were threatening and, cor and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all these suicide cases that me investigated. This company is filled on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation, Mr. Wrong. Is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who kissed, uh, killed Miss Mia. But, but most importantly, you should also search for the one that kissed Miss Mia. Uh, I'll do this one. Secretary's office, hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're right or you're wrong? You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. 
Excuse me. What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, over it would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort from Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. My moment, please. Uh, I know this is. White, that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fay case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And that is a very important witness. I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quiet, dude! I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet, then the liquidator, the killer, man. What? Mr. White, this is another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your options to me. Correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer! And was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. This case is as good as settled. No lawyer will be of any worth to defend you. And I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look com uh, competent. I... I feel faint. Uh, Bonnie, are you back yet? Looks like he's What's not. What's up? I'll be gone soon. Detective Gumshoe, we're boring, sir. What do you mean? Oh, but. Hey, but. Oh, right, the actually. Phoenix, right. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Boss was not a murderer, right? We're, we're on Tim's channel. Detective Gumshoe, I present you the I'll, man I'll who killed you, Miss Mia Fey. What? Take the despic- Go ahead. Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Uh, yep. Congratulations, Phoenix. We- well, I mean- we did get uh, Mr. White to come to the stand, but at what cost? I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. The prosecution will be on will be in on it, of course, Ashworth included. Our attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. It's a right. Oh, Maya. I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, they, uh, uh, just in time. I just came out. Great. All right. They let you out of the tension. Just now? Yes. It's all thanks to you. Huh. I'm afraid we switched places. What? You mean you? I explained what had happened to Maya. Yeah, Maya, apparently I was a dumbass and decided to show evidence to the actual killer, and turns out when you do that, um... Good things don't always happen. I don't believe it. How many, pe how many people does that man need to destroy before you satisfy my mother? My sister? And now you? This is gone! It's gone. 
empty fire. Issues again. Yeah. That's okay. Alright. Miss Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do for you? Uh, well, Femi, I mean, lawyer, cheer me out. Help me break out of here. Give me out of this jail. Cheer me on. Cheer me on. Three. Break out, break out, break out, break out. Uh, alright, we'll do a break out. Mike, <laughs> okay, listen up. I want you to help me break out of here. Give me a tail break? Yeah, tonight's our only chance. Alright! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I better get a... Oh, I better get a hacksaw while the stores are still open. Oh, oh, and a rope ladder. And a getaway car. Can you drive? Nope, I don't have a license. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! <laughs> what, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. I was only kidding. No way. You know she would have gone in the <laughs> She probably would have and such. Um, okay, actually, uh, uh, okay, actually, much like uh, some of the other um, uh, options, if you were to pick out of the other two options, you'll still get the same, uh, you'll still get the same, you know, uh, result either way. Uh, uh, it will still be a Phoenix just shouting, wait, 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 it might have been, wait, 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 and everything. No, really, I was kidding. Well, thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. Actually, I think the uh, chair one, uh, basically, my uh, mind would just been like, all right, let me go get my cheerleading now, but I still got for my anime school. Yeah, there really isn't anything you can do for me. Anyway, and I believe the lawyer one, uh, she just basically said, uh, she just basically said, oh, I'm gonna go to the library and pick up a book uh, called Walls for Dummies. Something like that. What? I can't sit here and do nothing. I've got to get that man a piece of his mind. Oh, my mind. My bad. Just a, just a piece. Okay. Then come to the trial tomorrow. Okay. I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put, out, was put on initial court trials, and then in later cases, we skimmed them down to two. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in a defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. To be continued. Alrighty, let's go ahead and finish this case once and for all. Yep. The only thing we got left is just a trial. Let's do this. Uh, I think Justin's still the, 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 the judge, uh, right? Actually, I'll be doing the uh, judge, because you're going to be having both Edgeworth and, and White. Edgeworth and White. Yeah. So, ba uh, so basically, I'll go ahead and be a judge because um, I haven't been a judge yet in uh, this game. All right, I'll yeah. take a break. I'll take uh, yeah, a break. Yeah, then. yeah, because, yeah, because you'll have a character I'm gonna have besides him is just Phoenix. All right, then that gives me a chance to take a break while the while the trial happens. All right. All right. Go ahead. All right. Anyway. Well, I guess. This is it. <clears throat> Let me try that again. Let me try that again. That was bad. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case is decided today. Look! It's a British person. Prosecutor. It's worth I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, will have, I will have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? Does White have a judge in his pocket too? So, you're saying I'm gonna be found guilty. End of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? How can you target an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie. To avoid being found out, there's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I could hope to do is get every defendant 
declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Change. Hmm? Phoenix? You know him? Don't expect any special treatment. Well, we'll be starting soon. What? What? Wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. You're not. I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. Yeah, Maya, did you not know that a defense attorney? Well, uh, pretty much, uh, I think anyone can defend themselves. So, it feels so good. It feels so good to do to do a lot after a long time. It feels so good to do the what after yeah, a long it does. time. It's quite, it's quite a little, it's kind of uh, Maya's little writing words. And everything when she's surprised. Anyway, okay, it's been a long time since I've done this guy, so here we go. Court now says for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Very well. Mr. Wrightsworth, your opening statement, please. The details of the events are already quite clear to the court. Today we will hear the witness the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. As well, I swear to God, if you were going to drop my fire and everything. Let's see. Prosecutors may call as witness. That went far too smoothly. Why did the judge ask us? Why did the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like, it's like he already knows why. If anyone's gonna raise an objection about this, it's supposed to be. Well, do you want to raise an objection or do you want to let it go? Let raise it go. Objection. All right, what about you, Bonnie? Well, I'll raise the objection. Mr. Reshworth, you want an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against against Miss Maya Fay? <laughs> I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man. And besides, at the time, I thought that Mrs. May opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the courts. Excellent, Mr. Wordsworth. I appreciate your demeanor. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Uh, your name. Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locations confuse? Name! My name is Red White, but my friends call me Bianco Nino. I am the CEO, or use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Maya May and Miss Mia Fay? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. Can you witness the murder from there? Uh -huh. Why well, tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. Okay. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for it. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? <laughs> Merry Christmas. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Body wanted to do something. Let him have it, Phoenix. With that, Let's see. It was about nine o'clock, I believe. I was quietly pursuifying, uh, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him. Like you heard men attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. 
I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. I think I figured it out already. Yeah. The things occurred as you testified, and I'm afraid of defending the skill chief. Very well, defend it, er, I mean, Mr. Roy. The cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Alright, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, testimony real quick. So, let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly pursuifying. Er, uh, that's reading to you some papers by the window. And then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him. Viking had man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss Maine over as once. She too was surprised, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Give me a little more uh, detail about that. I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course. Comprende. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. I want you to change our testimony to reflect this new detail. Alright. The victim ran to the left and you gave chase. Ah, but not because you look at Miss May's testimony, she said that the victim ran to the right. How do you play that, bitch? That's what I thought. Wait right there. Mr. White, you dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. <laughs> Is it simple? You've misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim here. If the victim ran to the left, as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running to a dead end. Don't you find that odd? I'm very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Uh, Barney, you still here? Yes, I'm still here. Sorry, okay, I'm taking a break. Sorry about that. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. You really did see the victim run left. So you can witness the killing? Wait a second. Mr. Roy. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Roy says Roy, but Mr. Roy says love. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? I can. Uh, alright, what do you think? Uh, is Mr. White right? Is Miss May right? Or are they both right? They're both right, and and I'll give you my both reason right. for Alright, well, what do you think, Barney? Uh, do you th uh, who's right? I agree with Justin. Yeah, both are right. All okay, right. the reason why I think this okay. is Miss May says directly to the right. She's coming from across the room. Uh-huh. And Mr. White is saying left. If you do the opposite of right, it is left. So yes. whenever I tell people, like, at the register for my job, uh -huh. hey, choose the card on the left, it gives you more benefits, I say it's my left, your right. Yeah. So you get my point. We're yes. looking two separate places, but Pretty we're looking at the same thing. Pretty much, yes. All right, so yeah, you are on the right track with that explanation. Both witnesses are telling the truth for once. Ha! Huh. I doubt it. Or, rather does not clear up the contradiction. There's only one scenario that will explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing a crime from the hotel. <laughs> Mr. Roy, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Co, of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Trying to show the court where Mr. White where Mr. White was standing. So, where was he standing? The killer, the killer, the killer, the right, killer, the killer. What about you, Barney? Where was he standing? Uh the K, most likely? Yep. Uh alright, let me just 
this is where he was. Look, when the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Order, I will have order. If anyone is struggling, the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Contempt the court! Mr. White, what are your suggestions? Rapscallion! For me to be fair, for me to be fair, I should have hold you three in contempt of court the last time you came here in my courtroom. Objection! The palpitations of the defense is a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, it does seem a bit far-fetched. <laughs> You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this, I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well. I'll share your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy.